Hi guys, I'm going to show you the musical side of Hamburg through the Reaper Festival, a Beatles tour, and give you some budget accommodation ideas. Let's do this. <laughs> There's loads of info in this vlog, and I've added timestamps in the description to help you guys out. You can click on them to jump forward and back to the section that you're interested in. Also, check out my blog post that accompanies this video for up-to-date information and additional ideas. And finally, if you want to see some more tips, fun stuff, and just generally stuff I'm up to, you should check out my Instagram. I'm absolutely loving my stories at the moment. Yes, I'm in Hamburg. Absolutely amazing, love the city. And just in case you're new around here, I create travel content to inspire, inform and amuse. So chances are you'll be finding stuff about vlogging, informational stuff, stuff you can actually use when you travel to a new place. The real reason why I'm here in Hamburg is because I'm here for a particular music festival and I've been invited along by the lovely people at the Hamburg Tourist Board. So if this is your first time in Hamburg, you should definitely check out the must-sees of Hamburg plus my vlogs just to give you a sense of what's it like coming to Hamburg. I'm really quite excited actually to be here for the Reaper Festival. It kind of fell onto my radar a couple of years ago because it's a city festival and because Hamburg is such an amazing city combining both a cool festival and the fact that it's Hamburg, match made in heaven in my opinion. And just in case you've never been to a city music festival before, the setup is you usually get a wristband and you jump from venue to venue. And at each venue you see usually one or two acts that last between 20 minutes to 30 minutes. And I've been to a few of these city festivals around Europe and they're my favourite type, mainly for one particular reason. It feels like an alternative way to explore the city through music and through different venues. The Reaper Festival started in 2006 and it's been growing ever since and there's like over 900 events over 60 like venues and I think there's like 600 uh, concerts there's loads to do and on the art festival side of things there's actually the art installations you can visit films as well as spoken word as well as like loads of stuff so it's not just for music lovers but a little bit of everything for everyone as well as a lot of bands I've just spent the past maybe four or five days going through most of the music playlist that's on Spotify which is I think about 44 hours or so of music definitely a lot of music thankfully I might have managed to boil it down to 50 or so bands that seem really quite promising that I'm gonna have to check out. If you're interested in seeing that uh, Spotify playlist, and by the way, it's full of random music, there's a link in the actual description. I'd probably include my couple of top tips for the Reaper Barn Festival. In fact, if I get quite a few of these, I might just combine it into a special one-off video. And on top of that, there will be a corresponding blog to this. You can click the link in the description to my blog to find out more information on places I've been to, my recommendations, as well as other links that I think you guys may found useful. But that's enough of the overview. Let's dive into some interesting music history. And time to join the rest of the gang. So we're about to start our first musical related uh, activity. And it turns out Hamburg is really important for a bit of British history. What's that? British history? But you're in Germany. Yes, the Beatles pretty much became the Beatles here in Hamburg. And if you want to learn about that history, there's only one way to find out the true history in an entertaining way. And it's this last, Steffi. She does an amazing job, I've been told, of doing a tour around St. Pauli whilst talking about the history of the Beatles. So let's check it out. I must admit, I'm not a particularly big Beatles fan, but I love the learning about the history of the Liverpudlian lads. Beatlemaniacs will appreciate the old venues and places of historical interest. It was both hilarious and pretty intriguing listening about the earlier days of the Beatles. If you are a Beatles fan, you should also check out a festival she's curating called Come Together, which is also in Hamburg. Steffi did such a great job explaining their story and performed some Beatles classics as well. I thoroughly recommend her tour. She really brought the whole experience to life.
let's get back to the Reaper Barn Festival and chat about my tips and personal highlights. The very first thing you should do is download the smartphone app. It contains a schedule and it will help you organise who and when to see the different bands. My biggest musical highlight was definitely seeing Hatari from Iceland. Hatari was also the Iceland entry for the Eurovision. We feel full of warm and joyful feelings, full of colour and sprightly energy. Yes, we thank Europe for voting for us, uh, all the families, all the children that support us. They see our cause and our message is clear. We love children and smiling and dancing among friends and family. I don't think I've ever seen a better performance in leather, chains and spikes. Some of the venues I particularly enjoyed going to was Molotov. At the Gross Freiheit, I saw some great bands like the Subways, who are also from my home country of England. As you can tell, I do like my rock, but there's also lots of different types of music. For something a bit more calmer, head over to the Elf Harmony. Take it away, vlogging Joe. We're about to head to the Elf Harmony, one of the most acoustically advanced concert halls in the whole of the world. What I particularly like about the Elf Harmony is that it's a particularly interesting shape and you've got some really, really nice views once you get inside. Now, I did a separate video about Elf Harmony, link is in the description. Um, it's, you can actually purchase a guided tour and there's loads of information about it, including some things that you've got to know before you book the ticket. Anyhow, we're about to walk in now. Um, when you arrive in Hamburg, I do recommend to see if you can actually book yourself some kind of concert inside it. It's quite special. Um, we're just walking up to it now and even though I've already seen it, it still amazes me how absolutely grand and spectacular the building is. The actual Elf Harmony is quite near the older part of Hamburg in the, the warehouse district so you have a chance to walk around there after or before going to the Elf Harmony. Yes, definitely recommend it. And of course we have to dive in a bit deeper into this iconic venue and landmark. You can access the plaza by getting a ticket. It's free if you visit on the day or if you want to book in advance online for two euros to avoid the queues. If you want to learn more about Elfi, you can actually book a 15 euro group tour. Our private tour was great, learning more about the interesting story of the Elfie. Note that generally you aren't allowed to take photos or video on the tour. The staff working inside aren't happy to be filmed. As part of the Reaper Barn Festival, there are usually a series of concerts inside Elfie. You buy an extra ticket on top of your regular Reaper Barn ticket. The shows at the Elfie are really, really popular and there's limited tickets, so make sure you pay attention when they are released. We got to see the amazing Anna Turnham and the Kaiser Quartet. I actually really, really enjoyed their performance. And unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film the performance, but here's a sample of it anyways. We met the only day ever saw. Okay, on second thoughts, not the best video ever, but I do recommend getting a ticket for any of the performances. Do double check if it's the main concert hall and not the smaller performance rooms. And after all that running around, it's time to talk about a good place to rest up for the night. I should really talk about Superboot and it's an amazing little, like they call it a high-end hostel, but there's actually no dorm rooms. They have all sorts of different beds. I'm currently have my own room, which is awesome. They also have rooms with like up to like six beds for um, groups of people, which seems like really, really good value for money. But for me, the highlight is the actual reception, like uh, common area type thing. I've been here a couple of times and they've actually had music playing in the main area, as well as some lovely bar where they have a really great selection of beer and the staff are super friendly, really, really lovely. Pretty easy to get to as well, so great location, great staff, great booze, and great fun times. 
You can also pay for continental breakfast, which is an additional 11 euros. I definitely recommend it. It was really, really yummy. For other budget accommodation options, I recommend two other places. The YMCA Hamburg has a great location, five minutes away from the waterfront. It's really secure and very popular for families or groups wanting to avoid party hostels. But the YMCA hostel lacks any type of ambience and atmosphere. You do have a really nice view though. I also recommend Instant Sleep. Not as clinical as the YMCA and has a bar to hang out and socialise. There is a great mix of private and dorm rooms. Cheap and cheerful with a well-stocked kitchen. And in my next video we'll see more of the musical side of Hamburg through its record store. Discover more amazing food and go behind the scenes of some of the musical venues themselves. Also check out my immersive 360 and VR video. Okay it's time for you to help me to help you. Which section was the most useful to you? The Beatles store, the Reaper Festival, the Elf Harmony or the accommodation info? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you later. I'm actually kind of really excited to come to the Reaper Bar. The Reaper Barn. I can't say the goddamn word. You don't actually have to buy a ticket to get in. We need to stop again. <laughs> what I find particularly interesting about Elf Harmony because it looks like a bit of a. Job done. <laughs> Are you doing it again?